I've got surgery booked for next week. Manchester Relays is definitely the pinnacle of cross-country season. I'm not going to let this niggle affect me. No place at Manchester Relays for a team of mostly 800 runners is a huge job. Right, any words for Dee Maud? Present to me, bit of an aerobic monster. Not quite what I expected, but it was a good building block for podium in a few weeks. I can now walk without crutches. Yeah! To the camera. Oh, yeah. You asked me this last time. Yeah, I know, but we've lost all the fucking footage. Oh. Um, balancing uni work with running is sometimes quite strenuous. For instance, last weekend I was in the library more or less every minute I wasn't eating or going for a run. Law assignments can be quite time consuming, but other than that, I'm really enjoying my course. You know, got some good friends. Yeah, all is good. Training has been what I would describe as turbulent. Um, at the end of the previous episode, if you go and watch that, you would know that I was ill following Manchester relays after a really bad decision to race, um, which led to quite a severe illness for about three days, but the immune system came through clutch. Yeah, after that, we got about a week of training in. We got a big, like, 47-mile week, biggest biggest week since about first year. And then I came out with a bit of a quad niggle. Um, so that had to be managed. Um, and by managed, I mean I took one day off and thought that, yeah, I was fine. So, yeah, we've sort of had a slightly interrupted month, but apart from that, it's been pretty decent. Our training's going pretty well at the moment. Um, for me, a big problem in the past has always been injury. I've been very consistent with my training the last uh, like three or four years. got surgery last December on my hip, and this winter's probably been the biggest block of consistency I've had since my first year of uni. So I've strung together between like 12 and 14 weeks now. Just built up to around 40 miles a week now, and I've hit that the last three or four weeks, but beforehand I was teetering around like 25 to 30 the first six weeks of the block and then I've been just doing one cross train a week on the bike and the aim is to get to about 45 to 50 by December, January. Training has been going really well. Put together 11 weeks of about 35 miles a week which is really good for me. The original plan uh, was to run podium this weekend. The purpose was simply just for me to prove to myself the sort of shape that I'm in and run a PB for a 5k. Um, obviously, you know, 5k isn't really my event. Podium was approached as like a marker in the sand to test where the fitness was, as I'm not really targeting cross country this year just because I've not had enough time to build a base. Bloody damn! This is good raw footage though. Bloody damn more. Oh, you don't mean sick. <laughs> not sick, not sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's better going. <laughs> Last time I just started walking. Yeah. Right. Right, this month I've started walking again is you know nice but even even more important than that i've started to be able to do some something that reflects training i've been on the on the bike again uh the the balance of the legs is absolutely woeful got to see simon eustace again so i've gone back to the gym uh outlifting sam already which is fantastic news I'm being rubbish right now, I can't so admit. Mm. There's not much I can do now more than just bike and gym and wait for it to get a bit stronger. Oh, I've got a spotlight right now. When when Mike the physio gives me the go ahead, I'm sure I can I'm sure I'll get straight back into running and injure myself again fairly quickly. Um, yeah, course. yeah course. I've been doing a lot of one-legged stuff. I look fairly ridiculous doing it just training one leg on embarrassingly low weights, but that's all I can do right now because my I've been given the time frame of six weeks, another six weeks before I can run, but um, my physio's got no faith in me that that will happen and thinks it'll be more like January. So for now, it's just going to be hammering the leg extensions and trying to get the... The, the quad strong enough to convince him to let me run, basically. Pretty sure January is in six weeks. No, 19th of December was the date I was given. Oh, yeah. um, obviously, you know, 5K isn't really my event. I'm not focused on it too much. Um, it was more or less just a way for me to prove to myself that the work I've been putting in, the consistency that I've had, um, is going to be paying dividends, not only in the summer, but, you know, also now on a more aerobic level. 
Um, so there's been a few key sessions really that went into Podium. The week before, we had a session at Dental Loop. So that was a mile tempo rep, then we had six by two minutes reps at 3k pace, and then I had a few hill reps. Um, this was with George Roland and Ben. So did the Dental Loop session with Dan and George last week, and it surprised me a lot. The first mile was 5x4 and felt surprisingly smooth. So where, where, where are we going? I mean, I was averaging about 438 to 440 pace on those reps. And we're running a decent click for the, the two minute rep, so it shows that like we're all in some decent shape. Great, I did. I've done that, so we don't have to whiz around the corner. <laughs> Got some hills done afterwards, which I felt strong and fast on. So, yeah, can't complain. Everything seems to be going to plan. Right, so the original plan for this month was at the end of the month we were going to race Liverpool short course, which is a mile on the grass, it's trials for the European Cross Country Championships. It's a big deal, right? An entry standard was 345 for the 1500. Or, very specifically or, they did put this in, if you have any other good times, put it down and they'll consider you. So Dean, the optimistic man that he is thought uh, put your eight time in and they'll definitely accept you and i went they probably won't uh didn't get in unfortunately a certain national governing body um didn't do their homework uh yeah we did sort of a rushed panic decision to race podium on the what, what day it was podium on the 18th um instead of liverpool oh right yeah so originally i was supposed to be sessioning the day of podium with Mr. Tyler Billiard, Mr. Joseph Tuffin, and Mr. Thomas Dodd, who all had very, very good performances at the Cardiff short course cross country. Tom Dodd, a dominant display. Congratulations to him. He's going to take this mile. He's going to warm up for Liverpool in two weeks' time. Billiard is second. Wow, that may be, well be a one two finish. But that was going to be a bit of a marker for me going into Liverpool. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. We decided to sack that off and do podium instead. Right, so with the sort of semi-rush decision to race podium instead of Liverpool um, and the combination of my quad not being okay, uh, there was sort of only one key session that we had pre-podium to sort of put a marker down. Uh, that was a Wednesday session on the track with, with Mr. Jay Sispel and a couple of the other boys. We did an 800 at about 5k pace. Then um, had two minutes rest, then went into 4x400 four off 100 jog, uh, a bit closer to 3k pace. Then another eight. Then another set of the fours, which were a little bit quicker. Um,
and then we hit a last eight at the end just to sort of help us feel good. I like that. That was good. Hey guys. Hey. That was fun. Like, as, as a whole, I felt really good. The quad held up nicely. Um, we were flying around those 400s, got a little bit tasty towards the end. So I was really happy with it, really confident going into podium. So, past week or so, I've been dealing with a little bit of um, potential onset symptoms of a stress-related injury in my shin. Um, I've had stress responses there before, um, and so I've just been trying to manage it as well as I can do. Um, had easy run and some strides yesterday. Uh, we got some drills, 80s and 150s, to make sure everything's good for the weekend. Sort of like the animalistic look, you know? I don't know whether it's like if it's muscle related, then fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not fussed about it. But just because I've had a stressy there before, I don't want it to be another one. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so like, it's, it's the awkward phase where like I don't want to stop running because I don't think it's that serious. But then I also don't want to keep running and then make it worse. Yeah. So then it's pointless to stop running for like four weeks if it's not actually a stressy. Mm. Oh, it's frustrating, man. As much as it didn't hurt to run on, I could sense that there was, you know, something going on there. Um, but it's it's just difficult to manage it with podium days away. Me and Dean simply just took the decision that podium isn't worth it for me. I want to be winning 800s in the summer, not winning 5Ks now. So, you know, there's no difference between me running that podium and going and running a quick park run in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so, made the correct and cautious decision to pull out, rest over the weekend, just do some bike instead. Hopefully Monday I'll be, you know, fine to get back into some form of, of normal training. Should we get a photo? Yeah, it's just so cute. It's just flapping around at me. Right, so I woke up raring to go, fully motivated for podium. Yeah, then we were watching the NC Relays in the car, which motivated me nicely. My boy Joe Hudson ran pretty well, um, came 60th. Uh, I had Paul Wee showcased our new ACTC vest to the boys. It's well done. Are you actually recording? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it is actually well done. <laughs> oh, this, is a, this is such an innovative and cool vest. Wow. So <laughs> 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 what won't be my first choice, put it that way, but you know, everything's there that you need. All right, so uh, I'm going off the race podium. I was hoping for I guess a good time today, but then got injured a couple of weeks ago, so we're just here, see what we can do. Race to be race, hopefully win it, but I don't know. Probably gonna get beaten by some women here quite quick, so that's gonna be fun. This is really awkward now. But Tom Ross, bloody idiot, doesn't know where his, what time his race is on. Um, missed that. Tom, what's happened? Well, fucking Harry moved my stuff, like, he went to go on a warm-up. I asked him how he would move my stuff, and everyone was like, no. So I thought it had been stolen. I was searching everywhere for my fucking stuff. I find it two minutes before my race, get my, shit, my shoes on, and then I fucking miss my race anyway. So here it is, the boys. Now. We're here at Podium. We've made it in time, about two and a half hours early. We've shouted the course. We're looking at just over a kilometre loop, so it's four and a bit laps, which is a little bit weird, a little bit worrying. I was hoping it was only a mile because um, that's a little bit easier to handle but uh, yeah we're feeling good we're going to warm up soon we've got Tom Ross going off first and we're excited for a good day 15.30 inbound
Yeah, so I did my warm up. Still feeling really good. Feeling good, Ari? Yeah, right. So I went in with the goal of being somewhere between 14.50 and 15.10. Uh, oh yeah, we're here at podium tonight. I'm looking for hopefully a sub 15 finish, but just looking for a good race to end the year before we move on to some speed stuff in the new year. But yeah, looking to hope to get some scouts tonight and my first road 5k in a very long time, so hopefully get a big PB. Got on the start line, um, had Dan Moore to my left, uh, no to my right, sorry, I had Dan Moore to my right and was, was raring to get after it. Dina told me don't get out too quick because um, it's going to feel really easy. I thought, nah, screw that, I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah, just got out hard and as I said, let's go, boys. move a bit too hard and suffered. Go, boys, let's go. So I went with Daniel Maud for the first two kilometres, which considering he was going out too quick for himself, probably meant I might be going out a little bit too quick as well. Um, <laughs> Um, so the first K came through, 2.56. I was happy with it. I was impressed that I'd managed to feel that easy through 1K. Let's go, Dan! So the second K, three flat, and I was a little bit like, I've built myself a buffer here. Let's not get too carried away. So I went through 2K in about 5.45 and 3K in around 8.45. Um, and then the third K was 3.03. Yeah, someone else do the work, mate. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Harry. Latch on, Harry, latch on. Go on, Dan. So it suffered a bit last K. I think about like 3.15 last K. Let's go, Dan. Come on, mate. And I came out with 15.11. Which is a result I was moderately happy with, but in reflection, I'm pretty happy with it as I've been spent the last few days, so I pushed myself pretty hard. Just got drawn into a race that was probably a tiny bit too quick at the start. How was it? Good, I just faded a lot. I tried to sit off, like Dean said, but then I ended up on my own. <laughs> Goodness me, he's a sweaty boy. Yeah, what, do you know what you ran? About 15, nice. I want to nice. Myself halfway. Um, cheeky 3k PB through the 3k mark, and at this point, I still felt really good. But about 400 meters later, um, my brain started telling me to quit. My legs started quitting. One more hard lap, Harry. One more hard lap. Let's go. Come on. Um, my pace drastically slowed down. I was just going backwards in the pack, and it was all just a bit of an L. I decided to firm that L about 4k in. None of this, Harry. Come on. Let's go. Finish it off. Come on, Harry. So yeah, I did what um, all the best 800 runners do in a 5k and I pulled out. Shout out to Tiernan Crocken. <laughs> yeah, just got out hard and as I said, move a bit too hard and suffered, but it's a good place to be for this time of the year and I put myself in a place where I've suffered, so hopefully 15 and 3k's in the future can feel easy. Do you believe mental strength is something you need to work on? As it, I know you were ill, but in the 3k at Manny Relays, you may have had a walk. <laughs> And then National Cross Country Relays, you have walked before. Also. I, I haven't, walked, haven't walked at National Cross Relays since I was an under 15. <laughs> hey, was, there, well, yes, yeah. was there any other reason for you pulling out over there that mental bitch? Like, obviously, I was physically very tired, like a 4K into a 5K race. But, like, yeah, I was just being a bit of a mental wet wipe. And I just think we need to go a little bit back to the drawing board and see where our priorities lie for the winter, I guess. Criminal.
you're out. Oh, look, <laughs> come on, have you not done your cool down yet? Finn, you remember Font, don't you, Finn? <laughs> He's absolutely last like Larry did. I'm trying to prove a point on him. Yeah. Fuck me. That really hurt. Didn't he? I haven't thrown up there. Achievement. Progress. Yeah. yeah, what's the plan for the next few months? Well, I've been given. I've been given the time frame of six weeks, another six weeks before I can run, but um, my physio's got no faith in me. The hammering the leg extensions and trying to get the, the, the quad strong enough to convince him to let me run, basically. Um, so, plan to continue to build the next six weeks or so. Uh, I'm going to have a, like, a mini indoor season, but it's not like a major goal. So, I've got a pre k in on the 17th of December, I think. Um, that's again, kind of seeing where I'm at. I'm hoping to go somewhere between around 8.30 probably. Um, and then after that, I've got 1500 in January and maybe one or two more of the races, but then it's just mainly building up. I ran semi-decent times in the summer, off, like six weeks training. So I'm just hoping if I get a whole year's training, then I'm gonna fly, that's the plan anyway. I've got a meeting with Dean next Wednesday to discuss what the plan is, what the next you know month or two is going to look like. Obviously, I've done the you know beginning phase of the build, um, but now we're going to start having some discussions about whether or not I will race indoors and if I do, what I do. Plan for the next sort of for the rest of indoors, I guess. In December, on the 10th of December, I'm pacing Finley Hutchinson and also Jake Mitchell. Uh, possibly Sam Davy, possibly Jay Sisbell, uh, pay them for a 600. Um, hopefully just hang on for the win. I'm going to spank the first four, maybe go like 49.50. Uh, if I'm feeling good, might have a crack at the um, crack at the British record. So, um, um, but yeah, keep your eyes out for that. Bye.